2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. We're here at the Lighthouse Open. Our coverage is about to begin. Delighted you're able to join us for this first round action. Well, welcome to delightful Nova Scotia here in Canada. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam at the famed Royal Ethelwyn course, Rich. It's a big par five to start, isn't it? It is. This first hole is a royal pain in the Ethelwyn, <laughs> no doubt about it. 589 yards. I mean, you can get it home in two, but that's only reserved for the big players. I got to say, it's a good birdie opportunity to start off the round, but it asks a lot. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. This putt coming up is for birdie. This one started out on a good line. Oh, hello. Welcome to the course. Absolutely. Love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Currently one under for the round. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Down the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. Going with the five iron here. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. 18 feet to the cup. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole-in-one. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. This one's tracking. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And that should secure the par. Well done. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. The tea is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. That's not the one he wanted. A couple under at this stage, trying to crack into the top ten. Going with the eight iron here. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the fourth. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. A spot in the top five on the line here. Fair effort that. Good birdie. And that will take him to three under. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. off here at the fifth. This one might roll into the rough. Already a winner this season. Number two would be very nice here today. lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, he's got about 24 feet to go. Get in 
the hole. Oh, that's frustrating. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. That starts off on a good line. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Time to tee off at the sixth. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Uh, Rich, I might have to put in my apologies there. Yeah, I kind of think you need to. That is really in an awful spot. That's a smart option. Back into the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Just a stroke behind the leader. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And let's have another look at that one. That makes him tied for first. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Ting off here at the seventh. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it, what do they like to do? See if we can make this big putt for birdie. Oh, just missed. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Well, that's a shame. That'll drop them down the standings, that's for sure. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Going with a three wood here. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. A bit short with that effort. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. Okay, steady now. Putting for bogey. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. He finds himself in a share of eighth. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Only two shots off the pace. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. A seven footer right here. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Might get
get caught up in the brush here. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Opting for the five wood. Getting ready to play their third. Only one shot off the pace. went down and this putt will take them to five under par short game has been especially sharp today Luke very impressive yeah, it's just about three feet away and down it goes let's head to the next just two shots back after that hole. Teeing off here at the 11th. Looks to be going with the five iron. Well, this one looks like it's heading to the sand. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Long-range putt coming up here. It'd be good to make a bomb, wouldn't it? Ooh. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Ooh, nice-looking putt. Yeah, you'll take that. Currently at three under for the day. And moving down the leaderboard as well. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four. Nicely done. Time for the second shot at the 12. Opting for the hybrid, I think. And here we are with the third shot. Just three back from the leader. See, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And this putt coming up for his par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. And that part will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take him to four under. We have a par four on this one. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. This shot coming from around the 150-yard marker. Three strokes off the lead.
looks to have opted for the eight iron. Ah, that one's heading out to the right. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Well, this would be a great par putt if he can make this. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. Well hold. And now four under for the day. It's time to begin this par four hole. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, guys, the lie is, you know, considering the situation is pretty good. Hopefully they can get a hold of this one. Getting ready to play their third. Three behind our leader. <laughs> Lovely touch. Well played. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. Now three strokes back after that hole. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. Oh dear, that's on the beach. No point hanging on to that one. You didn't hit your best there. Oh, in the fairway bunker. These are always the tough shots. Yeah, that's the right option. You should never compound an error with another one. Time now for the fourth shot. Just three back from the leader. Wonderfully played. Eight feet to the cup. Well hold. He finds himself in a share of 11. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Ting off here on the 17th hole. Like they were swinging a snake, not a golf club. Sitting at three under par, just outside the top ten on the leaderboard. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Wow, that almost went in the hole. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. Good-looking shot, this. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Nicely done. Well, an important part here in terms of the tournament. A chance to move inside the top ten. Ouch, that hurts. Putting for par. 
And with that putt, concludes this player's round. So, after a pretty decent opening round, Rich, this player still finds themselves a fair way off the pace. They are definitely a fair way off the pace, but listen, you can't go out there and play like they did today against this world-class field and expect to, to finish anything where they did. I mean, it's just an okay round of golf, and it shows. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby, and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.